So let us take the next construction. To construct a triangle, when the lengths of the two sides and measure of the angle between them are known. Students, if you see in the figure, two sides are given to you, BA and AC. And the measure of one angle between them is given to you. So it becomes SAS criterion. So let us take an example. Construct a triangle PQR given that PQ is equal to 3 centimeters, QR is equal to 5.5 centimeters and angle PQR is equal to 60 degrees. As I have told you first, before construction, you need to draw a rough sketch. So here is the figure. Now if you see, angle PQR is equal to 60 degrees. Now that angle PQR should be at one end, meaning the angle should lie at the base. And then only you can construct this triangle. Take a ruler and draw a line segment QR of length 5.5 centimeters. Next, we need to draw an angle 60 degrees at Q. So, take a protractor, place it at Q and measure angle 60 degrees. At Q, draw a ray QX making 60 degrees with QR. Now, to draw PQ of 3 centimeters, take a pair of compasses. Now, to draw PQ of 3 centimeters of radius 3 centimeters, place it at Q and draw an arc to cut QX at point P. With the help of a ruler, join PR. PQR is the required triangle. Students, let us proceed with the next construction. To construct a triangle, when the measures of two angles and the length of the side included between them is given. Look at the figure on the screen. If you see the figure, the measures of two angles are given to you and the length of one side is given to you. So it becomes ASA criterion. Now let us see how to construct such type of a triangle. Let's take an example. Construct a triangle XYZ given that XY is equal to 6 centimeters, angle ZXY is equal to 30 centimeters and angle XYZ is equal to 100 degrees. Students, before constructing this triangle, you need to draw the rough sketch. Students, when you are drawing this rough sketch, see that two angles are given to you. And those two angles must be on the two ends. That means both the angles must be at the base of the triangle. So now we shall proceed with the construction. Take a ruler and draw a line segment XY of length 6 centimeters. Next, we need to draw an angle 30 degrees at X. So, take a protractor, place it at X and measure angle 30 degrees. At X, Draw a ray XP, making an angle of 30 
with x y at y you need to draw an angle of 100 degrees take a protractor place it at y and measure angle 100 degrees at y draw a ray yq making an angle of 100 degrees with xy extend both the rays xp and yq till they meet each other label the point of intersection as z xyz is the required triangle students let us take the next construction before proceeding with this construction let us see what is this right angle triangle in this triangle you see angle b is right angle there opposite the right angle is the longest side and that is called as the hypotenuse and the other two sides that is ab and bc are called the legs of a right angle triangle keeping this in mind let us proceed with the construction to construct a right angle triangle when the length of one leg and its hypotenuse are given students look at this figure you see right angle is given to you hypotenuse ac is given to you and one side is given to you so it becomes rhs criterion let us now proceed with the construction using this criterion let us take one example construct a triangle lmn where angle m is equal to 90 degrees ln is equal to 5 centimeters and mn is equal to 3 centimeters students we need to draw the rough sketch first so here is the figure we have a triangle here it is a right angle triangle take a ruler and draw a line segment mn of length 3 centimeters next we need to draw an angle 90 degrees at m so take a protractor place it at m and measure angle 90 degrees at m draw xm perpendicular to mn now you need to draw ln of length 5 cm take a pair of compasses of radius 5 cm place it at n and draw an arc to cut xm at point l with the help of a ruler join ln lmn is the required triangle students in this session we have learned the construction showing sas criterion asa criterion and rhs criterion so with this we come to the end of the chapter and in this chapter we have seen how to construct a line parallel to a given line through a point not on the line and also how to construct different types of triangles showing SSS criterion, SAS criterion, ASA criterion and RHS criterion. Thank you.